Okay, welcome back again, guys. This is your guy, the mess lead guru himself, doing part two of the Eastern Cape September 2023 paper two. This is part number two. So let's get on on, on uh, part number two to see what it has for us. Okay, so part two, question two, uh, number two, 2.1, it says, uh, Terence built a model of furniture. He noticed a chair on the internet that he would like to build. He decided to use a scale of 1 is to 15. Below is a picture of the chair with some of the actual dimensions. So what you see on the chair here is that these are the actual dimensions. Okay, so these are the actual reality distances. Okay, so let's see. We see the height, we see the width, and we don't have the, the, di uh, the, the, what is this? Uh, the width is given. The height, the height, width, the depth. Okay, it's fine. But let's go to the question. They say define the meaning of the scale. One is to fifteen. So it's gonna say one unit on the map represent fifteen unit. on the actual on the actual ground or on the actual distance okay then one uh, two point one point two calculate the depth of the chair if it is thirty seven point five percent of the height so what is the height of the chair the height is one point two meters therefore we're gonna multiply by thirty seven comma five over hundred and let's see how much we get 1.2 multiplied by 37,5 over 100 and that gives me 0, 0,45 meters okay then let's go to 1.2.1.3 uh, use the scale to determine how big terrains must draw the height and the width on the chair on the plane in centimeters okay so now they are basically saying you must convert your actual distances into the map distances using the scale so we're going to start with the height let's start with the height so what what are we going to do with the height we're going to put our scale here one is to 15 and then remember when a scale is like this this represent a map distance and re this represent the actual distance so with the height we are given what the actual distance of 1.2 meters do we know how much is the map distance of that height no we put a question mark mr cross multiplication then we cross multiply i'm telling you if you want to pass paper two master cross multiplication so we're going to have cross multiplication i mean question mark multiply by 15 we're going to have 15 question mark which is equal to 1 multiply by 1.5 is 1.2 i mean 1 multiply by 1.2 then we divide both sides by 15 then our question mark is equals to remember this is meter ne? we are not taking away that meter 1 comma 2 divided by 15 it gives us 0 comma 0 0.08 meters but remember they say they want this in what in centimeters meaning that we still need to convert meters to centimeters uh, okay let's just do it away so what are we going to do? We're going to look at the relationship for meters and centimeters. According to that metric system, it says one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So what are we going to do? Zero comma zero. You see this, uh, the cross multiplication, it gives you the accurate answers. You don't need to confirm that this answer is correct. Yes, that answer is correct. So we have eight centimeters. Then when we're going to do the, the width, we're going to do the width now. The width, we're still going to do 1 is to 15, cross multiply. I'm not, I'm not ever going to do this thing because we did it that side. Even this one, I don't think we can do it because they are the same. So we're going to put equation mark here. 
and then we put how much is the width is 0 comma 6 0 comma 6 meters then we cross multiply so it's gonna be ish. okay 15 question mark is equals to 0 comma 6 meters we divide both sides by 15 so 0 comma 6 divided by 15 is uh the question mark is 0 comma 0 4 meters therefore we multiply this by 100 and that is 4 centimeters then we're done then let's go to the next one 2.1 uh 2.2 so 2.2 they say the fragrant soap bars are packed in a box to be shipped to shops below is a picture of the soap and the diagram with the dimension of the soaps of the soap bar so the box is here the height is given mill millimeters the width in millimeters the length in the millimeters then we have the diagram of a bar soap so we are given the weight of that bar soap is 90 gram so the soap they say the top view we can on the top view we can see the width and the length then on the side view we can only see what the height because if we see this height it means this is going to be this is the side view this is going to be the length of that soap okay then let's go to the question determine the maximum number of soaps bar that will fit in the box okay so what are we going to do we are going to compare a height of the box with the height of the the sofa we will need to know how many soaps will fit on the height you see i'm just going to see remember the height of the soap is 1,4 so we'll need to see how many soaps will be put here so we're going to compare what the height remember the soap will be like this you understand so we're going to compare it with what with its height so let's start with the height wise so with the height wise we're gonna take the height of the the box which is 84 millimeters then divide by the height of the soap which is 1,4 centimeters but you see you can't divide the millimeters with the centimeters one needs to be converted so which one can we convert let's just convert this one mm, okay let's convert the one on the bottom because we are just going to multiply that one will need us to divide so we're going to multiply here by 10 how am I multiplying by 10? We come back here. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So anything that we need to convert to do here, we're going to say, uh, we, we said we're converting the centimeters, right? So we're going to put 1,4 centimeters here. How much is it in the millimeters? We don't know. Cross multiply. And that becomes the question mark. Then it becomes... Uh, 1,4 multiplied by 10, that is 14, 14 centimeters. Get it? Okay, let, let, let's just, I'm just going to do all of them. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 meter, millimeters. So I'm going to do for all of these dimensions. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Already I have done the height let's do the length let's start with the length uh -uh. of the soap of the soap the length is 8,35 then we put a question mark remember this is the centimeter then uh the width is 5.5 centimeters then question mark then cross multiply cross multiply then we're gonna have 8 comma 35 multiplied by 10 it gives us 83,5 millimeters and then this one 5,5 multiplied by 10 it gives us 55 cent i mean millimeters okay so we know that this is the this is the length then this is the width so we were dealing with the height here okay i can just remove here because i have converted i have just converted so we're gonna divide here by 
by 14 millimeters. So how many soaps can fit the 84 divided by 14? And you must round off here 64 soaps. Okay. <coughs> Let's look at the lengthwise. The lengthwise. So we're going to compare the length of the box, which uh, which is 85 millimeters divided by the length of the soap, which is 83.5 millimeters. 85 divided by 83.5. It gives us 1.017. One so this is approximately one soap it means the length of that can only fit one soap okay it can be more than one because you can't force you see it's one comma zero it means only one soap will fit and there will be a very small space that is left so that space you can't fit a soap so you do what you cut it that is why in some box you find a fair space left there is because the other item could not fit it there then let's do the width wise so the width wise we have uh how much is the width of that box the width is 56 so we're gonna have 56 millimeters divided by 55 millimeters <coughs> how much is it 56 divided by 55 <coughs> is 1,018. So it's approximately one soap. Okay. Therefore, now what do we do? We take all these sides, we mul multiply them together. Okay. So how many soaps can be there? Only six soaps can be in the, in the box. Only six soaps. Okay. Let's move to 2.3. Okay, 2.3, there we go. There we have it. It says, below is a map of the New Zealand. The Johns couple from the uh, Auckland are planning a trip around New Zealand. So, let's look at the map first. When you look at the map here, we can, this is very much important. It means that the north of this map is on top. We are also given this type of a scale here. And then, uh, it's a bar scale, okay? If you know what you think when you write in there, you know that this is your bar scale. We can see those distances. We can see the towns there. Now they say give one advantage of using a bar scale. It's because the bar scale. Okay, let me just write it here. Bar scale gives actual distance, does it? The numbers that you see on top here they represent what the actual distance now they say the distance measured on the map <coughs> between uh Auckland and queenstown is 79 millimeters calculate to the nearest kilometers the actual distance between queenstown and the Auckland. so what is it that you're going to do here so what you're going to do here is that you need to take your bar scale right now into use you must use your bar scale now so how are you going to use your bar scale you need now you need to to measure the bar scale with your ruler here so now right now you can't be measuring here on your cell phone you're, watch, you're watching maybe on your cell phone or on your laptop you can measure them okay so it, let me just do it so that when you made it on the question paper you know exactly what to do so you need to create uh, a number scale actually here. Okay, remember, a number scale has to be what an actual. I mean, uh, bah, 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 bah. why do I start with a? A number scale or a ratio scale is always given as map distance is equals to actual is to this uh, actual distance. Already we know that from here to here the actual distance is how much is four hundred and fifty kilometers so you're going to take your ruler you measure uh, whether with the the centimeters or the mil, uh, the millimeters because your ruler has only two units okay so myself when i've measured here on the question paper i got 34 millimeters so if i want to use the centimeters uh, i can say i have 
got 3,4 centimeters. Okay, so if you look at this, we still have the cross multiplication. Let me now come and write it here. So the scale says the actual, the map distance is 4. 3,4 represent 450. Can I get a centimeter? Mona? This one is very important. I have to write it. I have to write it because it's not a final number scale. 3,4 centimeters is to 450 kilometers. And remember your answers will be in in uh in kilometers okay now here is the cache do you see that i have chose to use 3,4 but then here we i'm given the distance in what in millimeters it means myself i am going to do a long try why am i saying i'm going to do the long try the answer that i'm going to do i can't do, do the cross multiplication i will have to convert this to centimeters because on the map distance here i have the centimeters so i'm just going to remove the uh, 3,4 centimeters here and i am going to use what 34 millimeters remember 3,4 is the same as 34 millimeters, okay? So now I can do my cross multiplication. And remember, this is what? The map distance. And then this is what? The actual distance. So on my map distance, the distance between these two places, they have, they have set it on the map. It means this is the map distance. So I'm going to put 79 millimeters is to equation mark then i cross multiply anywhere you see me call me mr cross multiplication and i will respond 450 then multiply by 79 <coughs> which is equals to 35550 then i divide both sides by 34 i divide both sides by 34 divide by 34 and i get how much i get 1045 and they said i must convert to the nearest kilometer because there is a comma here of 588 so my final answer will be 1046 kilometers where am i saying kilometers i look at the question mark it's on the side of the kilometers cross multiplication i am going far with it <coughs> master cross multiplication write two three three write down in which general direction is queenstown from aculent so we're going to look at the aculent here's the point that represents because they're saying from not to so it means it means that they want the distance from here to here so you're going to throw your campus direction here so now how are we going to name this campus we're going to look at this they say n must be on top so once we know that n is on top this is south this is west this is east then look at this look at this perfect south west your answer is south I'm, I'm, I'm very much happy when I do such things because I know that you guys are also going to understand them. Okay. Uh, 2.3.4. Give one possible reason why it is said that if you want to travel by a car from the Queenstown to Auckland, the road will include a, fer a ferry and or a boat. Remember, <clears throat> if there is a boat, it means the car cannot move there. And if the car cannot move there, it means there is water. So now, what do we call the place where there is water there, but these other places, we call it an island. Some people will say it's an island, but we call it an island. Okay, so guys, this is the end of part number two of paper two, Eastern Cape, September 2023. Please make sure that you subscribe, you share this, you like, you comment. Anything that you don't understand, comment it so that I can explain further to you. Okay, so watch out for part three.